Hello and welcome back to Albion Online. And guess what? It's Christmas and SBI have given us something fun and Christmassy to do. We can all go and hunt down Uncle Frosty. And what I want to explore in this video is how to do it more efficiently and whether indeed it's worth doing at all. Well, Uncle Frosty, if you want to hunt him down, he spawns in tier 4 to tier 8 random dungeons, and that includes solo and group dungeons. Um, so you can use maps, or you can just hunt hunt for the dungeons in the open world. And initially what I was doing was, I was just clearing random dungeons, as you do, and hoping to find him. And then it came to me that when you do kill Uncle Frosty, the skins... They're actually dropped at his feet. Although he has a chest, the skins, and I'm 90% sure of this, I haven't seen any skins in the chest. And I opened a few, and I've had no one else tell me that they are that skins drop in the chest. So I'm pretty sure the skins only drop at his feet. So you don't need to kill all of the mobs in the dungeon. So what do we do then? Well, the best thing we can do, as you can see in the um, video above, is get a high mobility set, what people, some people will call a skip set, and basically skip all of the mobs in a dungeon, just keep running through to see if you can find Uncle Frosty. And if you go all the way through the dungeon, you don't find him, just leave. You'd save yourself a huge amount of time doing this. And using this method, I did 50 tier 5 random dungeons and doing this um doing that many dungeons uncovered a, a couple of issues with uh, this event um, one was the scarcity of random dungeons they i think now they're sharing spawns with a few too many things you now including I, I believe the wisps are now also sharing spawns so this means they're not that easy or quick to find, which slows the process down a lot. Also, the amount of times that Uncle Frosty spawns is pretty low. It's not really very high. So again, that's going to make it take a lot longer. Also, if like me, you're easily distracted. Um, Going back and completing a dungeon because you find a legendary chest uh, <laughs> will make you take a bit longer doing the Uncle Frosty stuff as well. Which also brings another issue up. I mean, 114k in a legendary chest. That's pretty... Un well, it's not legendary loot, is it? Going back to Uncle Frosty. Um, so we, we said at the beginning we, we're taking a um, skip set, a high mobility set, so... We can go through the dungeons just looking for ones that do have Uncle Frosty in them. And it's useful to have another set to fight him. He it isn't a particularly hard fight. Any any decent set that you would normally clear a dungeon in will do. Um, as you can see here, he has a few abilities that you just avoid. Um, and it's fairly straightforward. One interesting note, though, is in group dungeons, um, he has a self-heal. So... You might have a, um, a a good build for clearing group dungeons solo, uh, but it probably won't work against Uncle Frosty. So I think possibly a one-hand dagger might work, but I haven't tried it. As you can see, because we haven't cleared the mobs, we, we can't open the chest. However, I did check um, on quite a few of the chests to see whether any of the skins dropped, and they didn't. I got no skins whatsoever from the chests. If someone has, however, I would love to know because it, I do believe that you don't get the skins from the chests. In fact, after killing Uncle Frosty this time, I decided I would go back and, and clear the dungeon so I could check whether the skins did or did not drop in the chest. So... I've, I've speeded up the gameplay here. Wouldn't it be nice if you could clear dungeons at this speed? And as we are about to see, um, we can now open the chest because we've killed all the mobs on that up to that floor. 
and it's just normal, normal blue chest, random dungeon loot. No, no, no skins. And so on to the rewards, the final rewards we got for our dedication in hunting down Uncle Frosty and what did we get for doing 50 dungeons, going through 50 dungeons, looking for Uncle Frosty? Well, in worth, it's 16,000 silver, 107 snowballs, 7 hats, and 1 Christmas tree. So, is Uncle Frosty worth hunting down? Is he worth taking all that time and effort? No, he isn't. I mean... It's absolutely awful, <laughs> really is. The hats drop too many times. Nothing else hardly drops at all. The snowballs, I like. I like the snowballs. No money, but who doesn't like throwing snowballs at their mates? So that bit I like, I really do like. So all I can say about the um, Christmas event is if you're already doing random dungeons, it's just a, a nice little optional extra. And if you do get incredibly lucky, and we are talking lottery odds here, you will get a very valuable reindeer skin. But it isn't likely. It's really unlikely. So just take it as something that's a little bit of fun while you are already doing random dungeons. Don't go, un don't go hunting for Uncle Frosty. It really isn't worth it. And incidentally, while we're here on Treasure Island... I also stream the game, and every Friday, every Friday evening, in game time, probably normally around between 9 and 10 o'clock, we'll do a giveaway from here, from Treasure Island, where we, um, basically everyone who's on the stream and um, gets involved um, is allowed to pick some loot from one of these chests. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. And yeah, it's it's a bit of fun, but there are some valuable rewards, and as it's Christmas is coming, I've, I've put some even more valuable ones in this week. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, could you like and subscribe? It really, really helps me out. Um, I'm, channel's growing a little bit at the moment, and I'm hoping to carry that on. And also, give me any comments. If I've got anything wrong, let, let's say, for instance, you did find a skin in a chest, and I'm completely wrong. I really want to know, because I want to, uh, you know, if I've, I've given bad information out, that's important. Um, and, yeah, any comments are really helpful. So I'll see you around. Bye-bye.